This is the ancient forest, the heart of the new world, a vast unexplored ecosystem. Life here is plentiful, and a staggering variety of species all strive to carve out a living beneath these sun-drenched canopies. For today's research mission, I'll be tracking the Nargacuga, a shadowy pseudo-wyvern previously thought to exist only in the old world. These distinctive paw prints left in the soft soil of the forest floor are not more than a day old, a sure sign that I've entered the Nargacuga's hunting ground. In order to efficiently track our quarry, I've enlisted the help of a tamed Jagras. This small predator's sense of smell is keener even than that of my scout flies, and it's been specially trained by the lineans of the hunter's guild to follow the scent of large wyverns. This is the Nargacuga, a solitary hunter. This stealthy wyvern primarily preys upon small pelagus, such as bofango, kelby, and moss swine. The Nargacuga is classified by the guild as a pseudo-wyvern. And like all pseudo-wyverns, its gait is primarily quadrupedal. While capable of flying, or rather gliding short distances when the need arises, for the Nargacuga, it is far more efficient to climb through the forest using its winged forelimbs as feet. Moving stealthily through the treetop canopies and dense underbrush, this ambush predator is one of the most efficient hunters known to the guild. The Nargacuga, like most pseudo-wyverns, isn't a particularly large wyvern, but what it lacks in size and brute strength, it more than makes up for in speed, cunning, and sharpness of senses. The Nargacuga begins its hunt. I've done my best to avoid provoking the monster. I've tracked this strange creature in order to observe its natural ways, to study the ecology of this fascinating wyvern without disturbing its daily habits. However, today, it seems that I have unwittingly become this shadowy hunter's prey. Its keen senses have detected my presence, and unfortunately, the beast has mistaken me for part of the endemic life on which it so commonly feeds. I'll have to drive it off or capture it before any more serious research can be completed. This strange turn of events does, however, provide us with an opportunity to observe the predator in action. The wings of the Nargacuga are underdeveloped and less than ideal for flying. However, they are razor sharp and as strong as forged dragon idor. And these fearsome wings are not the only weapon in the Nargacuga's arsenal. The massive tail of the Narga is as dexterous as it is deadly, more than half again the length of the beast and strong enough to break the bones of large monsters with a single strike. One of the most notable characteristics of this predator are the sharp, hair-like quill scales, growths of modified keratin, which protect the back, sides, and tail, while long, stiff guard hairs cover the front upper part of the body. These quills are much lighter than the heavy protective scales covering the bodies of most other wyverns, and allow the beast to move quickly and nimbly while on the hunt. The quills are usually held flat against the Narga's body. However, when in danger, it raises the quills upright, so that they can easily lodge in any enemy foolish enough to make contact with them. The tail of the Nargacuga is covered in many rows of these fine quills, which can be dislodged and flung at enemies or prey, incapacitating them from a safe distance before the Narga moves in for the kill. The Nargacuga is a particularly cunning beast, and capturing it in a standard guild-supplied automatic pitfall trap can be difficult. It's best to wait before attempting to trap it, until the wyvern's eyes begin to glow red a sure sign that it has been overcome with rage. The red glow of an enraged Nargacuga's eyes is caused by the latent dragon energy stored in its blood vessels, a telltale reminder that like all pseudo-wyverns, this monster is not far removed from its elder dragon ancestry. With little more than its pride wounded, the Narga slinks off into the maze-like canopies of the ancient forest. I'll allow the beast to retreat for now, so that more can be learned about what has driven this strange and majestic creature to the forests of the New World. These are exciting times for the hunters of Astera. New species of monsters and endemic life are being discovered here every day, and I'm sure that this isn't the last we'll see of the Nargacuga. Oh! Hey, it's me, uh, Strawfoot, not the uh, video game Strawfoot. I'm the actual real Strawfoot, you know, the guy who makes the YouTube videos. 
I just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching my content. Uh, it means so much to me. If you can, please uh, make sure you like the video. Leave me a comment, uh, any kind of comment, even if it's just to say hi, uh, makes so much difference with the YouTube algorithm. So if you could just do that. Plus, I love reading them. Um, and jingle jangle the little bell so that you know when new videos come out, because I've got a lot of great content coming up. I've got um, some more great Monster Hunter lore videos, Paolo Lumo, Yangaruga, both coming up. And I've got a whole new series of videos coming up called Real Life Monster Hunters, which is going to be uh, stories about, surprisingly enough, uh, real life monster hunting events. And you're not going to want to miss that. So make sure you subscribe. Um, thank you so much for everything you do. It, it means so much. If you can uh, also uh, just check the description because there's other ways you can support the channel. Um, really, the best thing you can do is to leave a comment. Um, but if that's not enough and you want to join the Patreon, cool, thank you so much. Uh, there's also a link to my Amazon store. Um, if you use that as your homepage, uh, any money you give to Jeff Bezos, I get a cut of that, uh, which helps me support the channel because I have a lot of expenses, equipment, and Adobe tithes and all that jazz. Um, so that makes a huge difference. Um, one more thing before you go. Make sure you stop by the Discord because it's such a cool place. If you need friends to hunt with or just to hang out and chat, you're not going to want to miss our Discord server because it really is the greatest place. And, you know, part of what makes it so great is that uh, the, the community there, they've, they've always got your back. Like when I was making this video, uh, I put out a, a call just, hey, does anyone have any uh, facts about Nagakuga that might be interesting in this video? And I got some some great responses from uh, Discord users like Blackblood and also from our, one of our users, uh, Sapphire and, and and both of them gave me research assistance, but not only that, Sapphire drew me this, or not drew for me, but she had drawn this totally cool uh, drawing of Nargakuga, which is like one of the best fan arts for Monster Hunter I've seen in a long time, and it really captures uh, the spirit of the monster so well. So I'm going to leave you with that fantastic piece of art, but stop by the Discord, uh, say hi, get involved, uh, and you know what? Thank you so much for everything. May the Sapphire Star guide your way. Peace out and happy hunting. I'm Strawfoot. Until next time, see ya.